Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. Um, when I use the circular saw, I love to make straight lines, and when I do that, I typically like to use saw guides, assist me to create straight lines. The problem that I have is that I typically have to use this type of saw guide, and what this does is it adjusts and it pinches down, and you can run your saw straight across either side of it. The problem that I have with this is that it has to clamp onto something. The other type of saw guide that I have is just a rip saw guide that can go along the edge and so you can get a uniform uh, rip off of a board, which is great if you're doing multiple boards. But what if I just want to make a typical straight line on anything? So that's what I'm going to try to do today and not only am I going to do it for a in particular saw, I'm going to make this a universal saw guide. So stick around, it's going to be a bit interesting. So what I'm going to use is typical angle iron. And this is a one inch by one inch angle iron. Um, I'm also going to pair it up with uh, another angle iron. This is zinc plated uh, and it does have holes in it for mounting. So the premise behind this is pretty simple. What I want to do is I want to lay the two pieces of metal down. The saw can set inside of here so this is your track. But we need to be able to keep this together and it needs to be able to expand in and out. So how do we do that? That's where this comes in. So I'm going to take this angle, I'm going to put it just like this, and this is going to be on both sides. So then you can take your circular saw, it lays right down in the middle, so let's say this is here. And then once it's lined up, it slides straight down, but the critical part of this is that you don't want to run over this metal, which is your cross. That's why you have the angle there. And if you have the angle on the back, so it doesn't matter which side you actually do it on, you should be able to do that. Now, our next challenge is that we want to be able to make this adjustable. So let's say I have a couple different saws. Namely, you have a seven and a quarter inch, and then you also have a six and a half inch, and they have different widths on them. So this one's a little bit wider. So how I'm gonna solve for this is make sure that this becomes a tracking system. So let me just show you. So what I want to do is I want to adjust this one, right? So I'm actually going to cut a slot in here and I'm going to have different uh, points that I can slide. I'm going to have a thumb bolt in here. I'm sorry, a thumb nut in here. And I'm going to weld a tab onto the back of this so it can slide easily in and out so I can adjust for all cases and scenarios because this only this wouldn't just work for a circular saw uh, you could work you could really use this for just about anything so uh, let's stick around follow along uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start fabbing cutting metal and welding it up and uh, hopefully it's helpful Okay, so I feel like I'm almost there. Uh, one of the last things that I want to do is I want to make sure that I start measuring this out and I put uh, the measurements all here. Um, and 
that's going to help me with a placement and the sizing of this. So, so now I'm going to do that to the other side and then let's put the uh, tray into it and then we'll put our bolts in for the first time. Camphor, this is a nice machine screw. So it sits fairly flat. So I'll stick this under the bottom. Just like so. Now we just gotta tighten this down. so I hope this was helpful to someone. Let me just give you the final dimensions. This is six feet long by seven inches wide, exactly. So I hope that this video helped you out in some way. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.